might put a bullet in your face. Smoking on that. What is up guys, it's SPR7 here bringing back another one of my tutorial videos and today I'll be showing you how you can actually edit like yarn in DaVinci Resolve so let's get started into it I, I'm not going to try to like cut any corners or anything so yeah let's just start off with just obviously the clip and the syncing so what you're going to want to do is just obviously I have this faded I don't know why uh, and when you sync the clip right here make sure it's when the numbers pop up or like when the name first starts to show so uh, yeah, that's what I do at least, I don't know what other people do, but that's just what I do. Uh, so now for Yarn's Velocity, uh, click Control R on your keyboard and then unlink the clips. Add a speed point on the kill, and then go 10 or no 20 frames back, so you go to 04 right here. Add a speed point and then go 10 frames in front. Add another speed point, change this speed to 50, change this speed to 200, and then go one frame in front of the last speed point, uh, and then stretch it to where I put the playback head. So just play around with it a bit. There we go. And then, now what you're going to want to do is just stretch this all the way back like so. So as you can see. It does a nice little slow-mo like, similar to my like normal velocity, but I just switched up a bit. And uh, yeah, so now we have your velocity. Make sure to change the last part to 50. That's very important. Like every kill needs to have slow-mo at the end. Like that's just how it how it is. And uh, yeah, let me show it one more time. So it's pretty accurate to yarns. It's not exactly like his replica, but it's it's it's, it's pretty close. And then what you're gonna want to do here is go into effects and add an adjustment clip, and then make it as long as like the kill. So go into fusion now. And here's where I'm actually gonna drop my free yarn impact preset. So what I've noticed is that he actually likes to use only an X shake, and if he uses a Y shake, it's super light so yeah let me just get that real quick so as you can see here i have a light glow a, sh a x shake and a flicker this is basically yarns yarns impact it's super similar i literally recreated it to the best of my ability and uh what you're going to do now is where the x shake ends right here just go into the edit tab and then cut it to that so i'm not going to actually play it but as you can see, it's it's a clean glow flicker X shake. If you want, you could add like a Y shake, but uh, I'm not gonna include it in this video. And what you're gonna want to do for the color correction is actually uh, go into the description and grab my other preset. This is the, the yarn color correction, so yarn CC. He darkens the image a bit and then sharpens it as well. So. Uh, as you can see, the image looks way sharper and looks a bit darker, so that's what I, that, I, I just copied it the best I could. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to play it back slowly. So yeah, uh, tell me what you guys think about the color correction and the impact and how similar you think it is. Maybe you could go to the sharpen and like make it 0.15. And uh, yeah, that's basically all I have to say. I'm just gonna play it on screen right now. Uh, like I said in my past video, I'm, I'm just gonna play overlays of how it actually looks like when it's all rendered. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, comment how uh, or what editor you want me to copy next, what editor you want me to do a tutorial on. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you for watching and peace.